Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Spyro 3 Year with the Dragon. I'm the same. In the last episode, we travelled to the Dino Mines, where we took out the Bailey Gang as Agent 9. We travelled down a water tube to fish out another egg. And we freed a guy from jail. In this episode, we're going to clean up the rest of the egg, starting here at Honeycomb Speedway. Because Hunter's waiting for us just here. Look out, Spyro! There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me! I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge! Uh-oh. You wait here. I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay. Here I go. So this isn't particularly long, but it can be hard, too, because you've got to... You, you can only jump, and you've got to jump over most of these, if not all of them. Because they'll slow you down and the UFO will eventually catch up. And there's no little jump, it's just one jump. Oh dear. Oh cool, I made it over both. jump, but that's okay. Oh, it's gonna catch up. No, cool, there we go. Phew! That wasn't so bad. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you see that? Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look, I didn't even drop the egg. Well, that was lucky. Nice cartwheel. So that's it for here. Actually, Sparks, I would like to leave. You would. Don't worry, Sparks, you'll get your time in a second, actually. Because now we're going to travel off to a Sparks level. Here in... Cool, so near, near Frozen Altars here, there's a ladder just there that you need to go up. You can jump off it, and there's Zoe waiting for us at the top. Princess Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She says there's an egg hidden in there. I think Spark should check it out. Let's do it. Cool. Here we go with another spark level. It's been a while, so I hope you guys haven't forgotten the controls. One good thing about this is it's pretty linear. Anyway. Don't forget to dash and fire. Fire being circle, dash being square. They fire and fire it. How that works underwater, God knows. Ah. Now, some consider this to actually be the hardest level in the Sparks lot. It's been a while for me, but I think I would tend to agree. Ah, poet, I didn't know it. Get out of here with that. We should just use the power up, shouldn't we? Let's take that out first. Oh, what? Where'd that come from? Oh, nice little gem lights here. Let's go. Stay far enough away, you can actually fire at them. Exactly. But later on, they'll actually come out of those shells, so you gotta be really careful about that. Straight stuff. More health! Let's please. Back 
back up to full health. Whoa, hey now. Whoa, hey now. See if we can just get behind this shell. Now we can line up the rest of the starfish and take them out. You know what? I'll deal with you guys later. <laughs> first. Take these guys. Oh, I lost ten. Let's see if I can learn myself. Yep, as expected, we go up now. Whoops, that was a mistake. Looked out right to me. I don't remember turning, but that's okay. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Grab these gems over here. Grab the other power up. This one's a little, actually a little bit more helpful. Also, just be careful, because in these levels, you, it's not as easy to go back. Now that we've come this way and been zapped by Zoe, you can't actually go backwards. So if you need a backtrack for health, make sure you do it before you clean out the place before you continue. Shoot me from a distance. Oh, I never mind. Wow, they're really weak. He says while his face is the wrong way. Strafing to the rescue! Ah, here's the place where they spawn out of the shells. Let's take out all of them, shall we? Oh, good. This might be, yep, this is where the boss is. Also, it's a giant manta ray thing. Fires those power up tanks. Best way to take him out is the power up that you've been saving. Assuming you can hit him and not get hit like that. But he has a backup plan, he splits up as well. It's very nice of him. We just continually run away, strafe and line them all up, and get in a few hits, and ducks us into the corner, and take them out. Oh, I probably could have killed him then. Cool, for an egg. Odd, na odd name though. Oh well. Let's grab some health, and get out of here. Oh, also. Just below where the portal is, there's a road that leaves with more uh, gems. You may want to grab those if you're going for gems. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But Looked you like a man ray to me. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. Mm. Oh, I could have used that before, but thanks. Cool. 
So just to show that off, before we go to the next part, you see Sparks how he is now. You grab another health, now he like glitters and he's got that star kind of around him. So yeah, let's go to the next place. Off to Harbour Speedway. See you guys there. Hey guys, alright, so here in Harbour Speedway, to find Hunter, he's just inside this um, lighthouse near the start. Let's go see what's up. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with him as long as I can make it through the rings. I'm gonna chase him down. We're up already. I'll be right back. Alright, so we gotta chase a saucer as Hunter and go through these ones. This is probably the hardest one of these out of all of them. Mainly because the sheep saucer turns very erratically. You just go know the path and or just get used to the path. Whoa, that was really bad. Damn it. Alrighty, let's try this again with feeling, shall we? Touch the things with the camera. Jeez, where'd this guy learn to drive? Yes! That was close! The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed! What a relief! There's more of a normal man. Whoops! Alrighty, so the Sparks level for Midnight Mountain isn't actually that hard to find, unlike the other levels, because it's actually just here, near Dino Mines. Just before you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt, she built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight Sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him. Of course not, he's Sparks. Let's go. I always like these little pictures with Sparks in Sunrise Spring. They look nice. Alrighty, Bugbot Factory, last egg of the game. First up, we've got to chase down this guy. Hopefully not running into the walls. Um, if you shoot him, he actually drops his egg. Hard the egg, the key, giving you an opportunity to pick it up. After you pick it up, we can continue. Oh, hey there. Well, we do need to get that key, but what you should do first is take this guy out. Try not to take damage on me. I think that'd be most preferable. Cool. Grab that key and we can continue on. Oh! Go left here, there's actually a power up for us to pick up. 
grenade. I'm gonna have to it. Oh, I think I should make that. Alright, so with the invincibility, run as fast as you can over to here. Take these guys out. Also, more bugs in the corners, so you might as well take them out too. Now let's grab this key, shall we? Got him! Whoops, didn't mean to grab that health. So, first place, let's grab his key. Thank you. Whoa! Thought I'd need to be closer to that, but alright. down here. Nope. So it must be bottom left. That one. So this level is actually pretty short. We're heading into the boss room will be. At the moment. There'll be a few more bugs leading up uh, these things. it from you. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we head all the way back up. Get the gems and enter the boss room. There's a giant centipede. Ow. Don't have to worry about anything else, just the centipedes. Grab this, because why not? You'd think those guys up there would come down and help his boss, but they don't, which is nice of them. So yeah, this is actually probably one of the easiest start levels. And with that, we get Annabelle. And the last egg for the game. Or is it? egg must have had some extra magic because it gave Sparks two new abilities. Now Sweet he can break open treasure chests and using the atlas he can warp you to any level. Just select the level you want and press the square button. Well that would have been helpful ages ago. Thanks Zoe. <laughs> but um yeah with that we've actually gotten all the eggs except for one in the super bonus world. Which we actually need all the gems to collect, 
we actually need to collect all the gems to open it. I'm actually going to do that off screen and meet you guys back then. So this is it for now. So this is they're just saying sign out. Have fun and catch you later, guys.